I was asked about hellebores and where they should be planted. And this is one of my hellebore beds. There are these one, uh, da, 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 two, three dark colored hellebore. I think they're all the same. And, oh, there's a fourth one in here. It's not doing so well because it got sat on, I think, by a dog at one stage. Anyway, these are in partial shade. It They get sun early in the morning in the winter. And then the summer months, this area is very shady. It's got the, um, I've got hydrangeas here. These are a lovely kind of magenta leafed hydrangea. So they, those, this bed is right here. Now you don't have fleas, you're just being silly. And there's loads of snowdrops here because hellebores and snowdrops are very similar in where they're liking. This end of the flower bed gets a lot more sun. And hence there are these beautiful narcissi in here. These smell heavenly, by the way. So you can see that hellebore was planted as at the same time as this is the latest hellebore that's planted here. It's only just coming up now. It hasn't tuned in to the timing yet. And this one. Now they were all, three of them were planted at the same time and both ends are doing really, really well. I think I might have done the two ends first. Yeah, that's right. This one was planted first. This was planted fourth. This was planted third. And this was planted during the first bout of planting. So you can see they do really, really well. And you can see the different stages, how much fuller the two ends of this bed are compared to this one, I think, was the following year. And then this one was two years ago. So this bed shows that this that partial shade is very much what they like. Now here is my office mini garden. This hellebore has been in a pot for three years and is doing really well. And there's two more bunches of hellebores in here. This, there's a fig tree here. You can see there's a lot of sunlight here. There's a hellebore here. This is a beautiful one. Isn't that gorgeous? So all of these hellebores are growing in direct sunlight for a portion of the day. You can see there's some beauties here. Look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful colors and varieties. And then there's a lovely buttery one under here. This one I bought um, I bought it for this one and this turned up in the pot. So I was very lucky when I planted it, this lovely buttery one. I'd love to get more buttery ones. Anyway, these get a lot hotter and more direct sunlight during the summer months because it's in the yard and there's no trees and there's loads of sun and it's not until the sun gets behind the stable and over there and the st stable casts its shadow down across here and then they get um, in the shade. So these only get the midday sun. They don't get the morning sun because the morning sun rises over there and this wall and those trees block out the light. So these hellebores only get the midday sun but then in the evening and the mornings they get shade. So it's, again, it's not sun all day long. And this is so beautiful. I love this mixture. Lovely. Now this selection of hellebore is in full shade all day long. You can see the sun is behind the stable here. So this never receives any direct sunlight this is blooming very late. This one is the last one to flower in this bed because it's in the deepest shade. These I planted, a cousin gave me these, some of these, and that was about 20 years ago. And I haven't divided them. I've sown their seeds and look, some of their self-seeding 
This is a self-sown hellebore right here. And this is, you can see lots of babies there. I'll dig a lot of these up and spread them to other locations. But this is deep shade. There's this, this never gets sun, never. This gets a bit of sun. This is the hellebore that I just got the other day that is so beautiful and it will get more sun than those in there. And if we walk along here, oh, somebody was asking about the buckets. They're there to hold the tires up. I'll be removing them soon. They're there to keep the tank from freezing and bursting the sides. But here are more hellebore. And the hellebore here, there's some beautiful ones. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So these hellebore, a lot of these are self-sown ones that I got from my cousin or bought over the years. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? But you can see the sun is kind of shining here, but it only shines here once it gets over the crest of the stable. You can just see it's behind those clouds. So it only gets the evening sun. It doesn't get sun all day long and then in the summer also, there are these trees here. So this is a, a plum tree here, a pear tree here, and a pear tree over there. So this doesn't get full sun at any real time of year. Uh, it only gets partial, partial sun um, in the summer months or in the winter months and even less in the uh, summer months. This is another lovely one. So here you can see there's more here. These, in this area, these hellebore, look at this one. I love it, the back of its leaves or its petals. That's such a lovely one. Uh, so these you can see are beginning to get um, sunlight, but it's nearly lunchtime in the winter months. In the summer months, the trees will be blocking a lot of them out. So all of those hellebore are doing really, really well in a very sheltered location from direct sunlight. Now, this is one of our huge espalier trees planted and pruned by my great grandfather, under which there are a whole series of different varieties of hellebores. These are hellebores that I bought and planted about 20 odd years ago give or take. The one through there, that hellebore there, is self-sown. And then these are some of the baby ones of ones that my grandfather brought here from their home country. And here's another hellebore here. This is a beautiful white one. Look at that. Gorgeous, creamy white one. Then these are some self-sown ones. These are kind of mixtures of what I have. These are all babies that are self-sown down in here. I'm letting them do their thing. But you can see there's ferns growing here. And this, it gets very shady in the summer months because the garden wall is here. So the sun blocks out the wall blocks out early sun to midday, and then the tree blocks out the sun during midday. So it only gets kind of, the sun sets in that direction. So it only vaguely gets some sun. So this is a very well sheltered bed, but you can see these are coming out from the plantations that are still doing really, really well. You can see they're doing really well, but they're self sowing and they're coming out here Let's see, if, are there self-sown babies over here? Well, there's the self-sown baby that's over there. Yeah, there's a few, look, right there. That's a self-sown baby. Those are gonna all start coming out and producing flowers. You can see the bees are all in around the hellebores. Now this area, these hellebores are very shaded by garden walls all round and only get evening light in the summer months. In the winter, they get a little bit of light. And here you can see this hellebore here. Hello, you pup. This hellebore is near the espaliered hellebore. 
and I had this in a pot for a few years and then I planted it out here last spring. So it's been here for, I've had it for four years, four, five years, and it's been out for one or two years, I can't remember. Uh, but it's doing really well and thriving in this bed, which gets loads of sun. There's no sun and, or walls blocking it anywhere. So this gets a lot of direct sun in the afternoon and evening. In the morning it doesn't because the garden wall is behind me. Then we have more hellebores around here and here. So you can see all of those get relative sun in the winters in the afternoons and in the summers in the afternoons. So they don't get a full day of sun. So here's some, these, some of these are really, really beautiful. Look at that. These black hellebores, you can see those are beautiful black hellebores. They are in deep shade. They never get any sun, no direct light. The, this one is a different one, it has no direct light. Here's another one with no direct light in winter uh, or summer. It's in quite deep shade. This is, this is the southern walls of the garden and it's, so it's facing north. So these hellebores are all in shade except for maybe a smidgen of sun. Look at this, isn't this a gorgeous one? Look at that. They might get a little bit of shade Sorry, a little bit of sun in, oh goodness me. There was a huge explosion. It was the quarry doing an explosion. It's just up the road from us. Can you, can you come out of there? Inca, come on, come out. You're in a, disrupting my hellebores. So these get hardly any sun um, at all during the winter. They get no sun in the winter and very little except maybe a fraction of winter summer light in the, in the summer months. So they don't get very much. Planted, um, these are babies that I've sown here that are coming up. So in a few years, there'll be more and more and more hellebores. Isn't that right, dogs? And then if we come up here, This is an apple tree under which I have some more hellebores. You can see there's one there. This is a gorgeous one. I love this one. It's a beauty. And then here's another hellebore. But look, this sedum is self-sown and it's under here. But these are all hellebores that are under this apple tree. So they don't get very much sun. They get a dappled sun during the summer months. And then there's one more location for hellebore. This is the corner of where there used to be the uh, greenhouse. And so that garden wall isn't there. But here you can see these hellebores are doing really well. These have been here, oh God, they could be here about 15 or more years, I think. You can see I'm not very good at weeding this bed. Here's a bit of bramble. I've got to weed this bed. But I think there was only one hellebore. I haven't. I haven't done this bed in so long. I've got to do some, a bit of weeding or something. There's grasses mixed with um, grape hyacinths. There's a good crop and this is uh, uh, fennel. What are you doing there? No, you're not, oh! Bear, you're not supposed to be in here. You're bold. Yes, you're bold. So these hellebore I think I planted, I might have planted all three of these, but the one thing that they haven't done, if self-sown loads of babies, or at least not that I can see, look, all the dogs are here now, walking through my tulips. These are the grape hyacinths, look at them. Loads of sedums, these sedums have been here forever. So this bed needs a really good weeding actually. But these hellebores get a lot of summer sun and are doing really well <laughs> until you come along and walk all over them. Honestly, dogs, what is one to do? You're bold. Yeah, and you too. <laughs>
Anyway, this is actually quite a pretty little one. So as you can see, there's a broad variety of sun tolerances that hellebores have. And at the moment you can see they're beginning to get the sun here. Still get it most of the day. But they won't have to, they don't necessarily need it all day long. Like these ones here will see no sun at all, just light. Isn't that right, Bear? What are you doing? You're such a pup. Anyway, here's my new baby. I love it. It's so beautiful.